Hello, my name's Julie. Thanks for joining me today as I make a fun Christmas spread in my Skinny Classic. I'm going to be using some sticker books from Planny Thing in this spread. First we have Houses and Trees 2 and I also have Seasonal Houses and Trees in Amsterdam which has illustrations drawn by Amber herself. I got the idea for this spread from the Bright Travels Happy Planner sticker book and I did a spread earlier in the year where I used small stickers from the Jungle Vibe sticker book and turned them into stamps. So I'm going to be looking for some small icons, maybe some houses from this sticker book or some trees. I don't think this sticker book is available anymore, but the Houses and Trees in Amsterdam is. It's a really cute sticker book with some really lovely houses and people and lampposts and things that you can build little scenes with. I believe it's on sale at the moment on Amber's web shop, but Amber's last day for shipping is December the 19th before she takes a little Christmas break. I am an affiliate, so if you're interested in this sticker book, you can get an extra 10% off with my code JULY10. As always, all the details are in the video description. Now let's get started and the first thing I'm going to do is make the stamps. I have these plastic scissors with the decorative edge. You can still get hold of them on places like Amazon and in kids craft sets. And I'm just cutting around the edge of some white card. I've made four large ones and I'm going to use some of the images from Houses and Trees and just stick them on the card. So how are you getting on in this busy holiday season? There's always so much to do and I find that December races by so fast. I still haven't got my tree up, but I'm hoping to spend all day tomorrow writing letters to go in my Christmas cards. Super late, I know, but I'm always a last minute person. I'm not sure how many of these stamps I'll need, but I thought I'd make four smaller ones for a bit of variety and then I should have plenty to choose from in my spread. I thought I would use Planny Things Seasonal Vibes for the smaller stamps because they have lots of very tiny icons in them. This is another book that's currently reduced on the Planny Thing website. It's also quite a handy one for my sticker hunts because one of the problems I have is finding stickers that are small enough to fit in the squares on the monthly layout and little icons like these are ideal. Although I know that technically the stamped edge should go on the outside of the stamp, I decide to back these onto some coloured paper just to make them pop a little bit more on my planner page. I'm using my Quickie Glue pen that I got from Craftalia, which has proved a really useful purchase, to stick the pieces together. I really love getting crafty in my planner when I'm decorating. I find it really relaxing and therapeutic and I know I'm not alone from comments I've read from other planners on Facebook. Now you've seen what I'm doing, I'll speed this part up and then we can get on with the rest of the plan with me. I'm having to redate these pages in my Skinny Classic Planner because it was an older 18 month planner. First thing I'm going to do is use my favourite Planny Thing Grid Washi. This is the only red I've got. I often put it on alternating lines in this planner. But I thought to make this truly Christmassy, I should bring in some green as well. The Skinny Classic was new to my layout this year and I've really loved it. 
If you check out my planner lineup video, you'll see which Skinny Classic I'll be using for 2024. I'm taking a bit of a risk with it next year because it does have some colour in the spine, whereas this one was completely neutral with just some tiny dots. But I'm hoping I can make it work for me. I'm just going to take my tape pen now and glue the stamps that I've made onto the planner page. I normally prefer everything to be straight, but I've got a lot more adventurous in my planning as the years have gone by. And this year I've definitely done a lot more clustering and layering of stickers. I'll make sure that I keep the spread balanced by putting big ones on both sides. And I'll try to vary the colours, although it's quite tricky when you're doing a two colour spread. I generally find that three colours is much easier to work with. But today, to be Christmassy, we're sticking with red and green. I'm sticking this gingerbread man stamp over the edge of the page and I'll cut it off. All I'm going to do now is add a few boxes and we'll be more or less done. I want to keep it fairly simple. The most complicated part was making the stamps at the beginning. I'm really loving my Christmas spreads this year. It's funny, last year I got so excited and was so looking forward to them and then they didn't really turn out the way I wanted and I was quite disappointed. This year I didn't have my hopes up quite so high but I've really loved them. I got the boxes for Mojo Jojo's Rainbow Boxes and I'm going to use Jojo's checklist just to add a couple of bullet points to finish the spread. In my classic vertical planner, I've stuck mainly to more pastel tones. This one is more traditional. But once again, I found I've got so many Christmas stickers I was hoping to use this year, and they're going to have to wait for next year. It's exactly the same with Halloween. You can only really use your Halloween and Christmas stickers for those times of the year. So it just doesn't pay to have too many. That's why this year I tried not to buy any more Christmas stickers. But I did get a few. I really love how this spread is looking. Very Christmassy and fun. I'm just going to finish it off with a couple of American Craft stickers that say remember in the boxes. And I have this Holly Jolly, which matches perfectly with the colours. It came from an old American Craft seasonal book, if I can get it to fit somewhere. I've decided to cut it into two because I think it would look better with one word on one page and one on the other. And I just need to trim off that Gingerbread Man sticker. And we are done. I really love how it looks. It's nice to have something in the traditional red and green. And I'm really pleased with how the stamp idea turned out. Remember to look in the video description if you're interested in checking out any of Amber's sticker books. And if you are intending to make a purchase, remember to use my code JULIE10 for 10% off. I'd love to hear in the comments how your Christmas spreads are going if you celebrate Christmas. And do you start them earlier than December so you can use all your stickers? Or are you in the same boat as me and we'll have lots left over for next year? If this video has given you a little bit of inspiration, I do hope you'll subscribe to my channel and join me for the next video. Enjoy the rest of your week. Happy planning, take care and see you soon.